Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back to another video of Hunter and 3, Black Eyes, version 12. Uh, we In previous episode, we decided to annex Xinjiang, and, well, we did to have to do a bit of a conflict in there, but uh, we did inherit quite a bit of truth from them, and I've done a little bit of reorganizing. I think we are actually going to keep all of them. Uh, what we are going to do is uh, we can combine some of these, uh, well, the infantry, I say division, I already gave one of the... Artillery from uh, one garrison over here to it. Uh, but what we're going to do is we'll also give the horse transport and the division HQ. And the infantry battalion can probably go to the... Probably just to the army group, really. Or something like that. And the militias will probably keep everything in here. We'll not probably worry about it for a while. But let's go ahead and pause. Uh, so now our troops can start moving to the east. Mostly towards the coastline, I suppose. We need to get a whole lot more troops still. We are still training quite a bit of units as well. Oh, and there we go. There's the neutrality happening. Propaganda fails ends. We're going to reduce the consumer goods at least a decent bit. Need a bit less reinforcements. And we are hopefully going to get a lot of uh, units trained soon enough in such a way that we don't actually need to train the next levels anymore. So that's going to free up some con or some sort of production. It may not be all that much in the end. I'm hoping that it will at least help. And now the fact that we've got a potential to trade with Soviets uh, on our own border in here, that will help a lot. We don't have particularly good relations with them yet. I suppose one of the things that I could do... Wait a minute, who am I buying? Ah, right, we're importing some from Canada. We don't actually need to import the... Rare materials from Canada or from Netherlands, to be fair. What we can do is we can go ahead and buy some from the Soviet Union, I reckon. How much are we going to need? So we cancelled probably about 20 worth of imports. So if we were to put in like 20 rare materials in here. Actually, what we'll do is we'll do it in patches of five. Because each one that they accept means that the next one's going to be slightly cheaper for us and slightly cheaper and so forth. We can sort of improve our relations uh, with the Soviets a little bit easier. So we might be able to start drifting towards them again because right now we're not actually moving at all towards them. But the idea would be to eventually join them. Which may be a bit easier said than done, mind you. But yeah, we are going to go ahead and reorganize uh, most of this input battalion into other units, and the infantry battalion itself probably will just go for the army group as a unit. So I did uh, give the uh, cavalry units uh, some of the custom leaders, and we'll turn them into motorized divisions. Maybe we'll give them like like tanks or something once we are able to. Actually, one of the things that I could do, well, I can't do it right now, but uh, later on, buy a production license from the Soviets for some light tank battalions or something. It may not be much, but I'm sure that it will be at least uh, slightly better. So if we go ahead and reorganize these, let's give the Division HQ and the whole transport in there, so it still needs, well, I suppose, Engineer and probably Anti-Tank, or no, maybe Anti-Air, one or the other. I suppose this one could then move into Rumki. We'll just redeploy it there. And these troops are heading east. So I suppose the first army, mm, it could probably go ahead and move to Zhengzhou. So we'll have a little bit more troops in there. It's the Northern Army. It is, technically speaking, already full. Alright then. Well, that is good to know. We are getting at least uh, some more troops in there. Technically speaking, this could maybe be underneath the First Army instead. Uh, which is... That one. Yeah. Technically speaking, I don't think we necessarily need this First Army. We could uh, name this the Western Army. There we go. Oh, and there's another garrison done. The garrisons that we have, we might not be using too much right now, but eventually I'm sure that we'll find some use of them. And also make sure to switch the garrison leaders. They don't need to have a lot of skills or anything like that. It's just uh, having a leader there will still give them a bit of extra boost for fighting and all that. Ooh, steel armor casting capability advanced. There we go. Is that something that we can unlock? No, cast armor construction. We need to get to level 3. So I'm actually going to go ahead and push that back to the top of the list. So the sooner we can get the cast armor construction, the sooner we can start researching our tanks. And we don't need to initially research too many levels of that initially, at least. At least we can get started. So there is a decent bit of um, Japanese troops in here, although not that many on our border. Probably a lot more on the Soviet border. Which could be useful. Ah, basic twin engine airframe advance. So now we can go ahead and get the 
research over here so we can start working towards the uh, light bombers, medium bombers and all that sort of stuff. Because we need some medium bombers for various uh, air tactics over here to be researched. Also, another thing that we are going to need is the... Ah, right, the carrier aircraft prototype. We can do that as soon as we've got the single engine fighter prototype at level 1. We need to get one level for there so we can get the naval bombing and port strikes and all that sort of stuff to be a bit more efficient. It's not that we're going to be building carriers anytime soon, but, uh, you know, maybe eventually. But our leadership is not all that high. And we're doing about 52 research right now at the same time, so that's at least nearly half of what we can do. I guess it's not the worst. And there's... Oh, hello. We've got two more units in here, which I suppose we'll just go ahead and assign them in here. And as soon as we have um, units that have been upgraded, which to be fair, I should probably go ahead and push more of these units that are currently upgraded to be on the top of the list so that they will be completed sooner. And that way we can get a little bit more work done. We're getting a little bit more infrastructure built. We definitely need a lot more officers, which is kind of a good thing that we increase the uh, draft to two years instead of one year. We also have a almost 950 manpower now, so that's also a pretty decent amount. And do we still have the... No, the home front... Oh, wait, no, we do have the home front still. Oh, I thought it would have expired already by now, but I guess not. That's the machine gun focus. Is that ahead of time? No, not even closely. Okay, second echelon will be researched soon, so that's going to unlock us uh, a few more things. But I suppose a lot of these things, so we can't actually research all that much yet. And we lost some trade deals for supplies. That's unfortunate. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and uh, buy some more rare materials from the Soviets. Do another five. And yeah, there we go. So that's 6.64, and the previous one was uh, 6.75, so it's a... 0.11 money that we save per day by doing this way. Technically speaking, if we had gone for like one rare material per trade, we pr could probably be saving a lot more because the relations would be going up. I think after that trade deal, we'll try to buy the production license. Oh, export tungsten to Costa Rica. Why are all the Central American nations just buying our stuff in here? <laughs> I have no clue. So I suppose that is what it is. Uh, this division should probably be moved to the east. And I'm also going to go ahead and Get it to uh, one extra engineer and one extra anti... Probably anti-air gun, actually. Or maybe we can get a mix support. We'll get a mix support. And then we'll get the... Probably the engineer. Push those a bit higher on the list. We did get the infrastructure built, at least, so that's good. Get those things done. So it is uh, only end of 37 right now. So the war itself won't be starting for a while. I don't think we're going to be able to start our war against Japan, even if we wanted to, uh, before the war is probably on underway. Second echelon advance. All right, then. Army headquarters, uh, defense and death. There's a few things that we can research. Also, basic medium fuel tank. So now we can get the medium fuel tank research over here. Not necessarily going to prioritize it yet, but we'll at least get it underway. We can reduce the re uh, reinforcements a little bit. Probably not going to increase the upgrades too much. As long as this upgrade's happening, we don't need to increase it too much. So all of these are now... Yeah, they're kind of proper divisions, of course. So a lot of them still need upgrades. But I guess what we could do is we could move this core over here. And then if we have a look at the infrastructure, there is uh, five provinces in here. So I think what we're going to do is we'll have one core... Hmm. One core over there. So all the way to the border, there's going to be... Let's say those two. In the middle, there's going to be the other two. And then the U division is going to be in the middle. And that's going to be sharing an area with another core later on. Like, that's going to be taking these two. So at least we'll have two divisions per provinces in here. Probably we'll need more than that, let's be honest. But at least two will be a good start. And I suppose another thing that I should probably start doing is start upgrading these into just infantry. Terrain is mostly highlands, then it's going to be turning into mountains a little bit, or hills and mountains. So, taking the speed light infantry might be a slightly better, but regular infantry is going to be larger, manpower-wise. So, let's go ahead and start upgrading all three of these. And push those to the top of the production queue. So, there we go. That's going to be a little bit more upgrades underway. While the units are upgrading, they also don't require officers, which is quite handy. But as soon as they are done, they will require them. Oh, right. There is the... Italian, so let's go ahead and combine those two. 
There's one lesser unit without a leader or anything like that. The Shengdu... Oh, that's a Mountaineer unit. Okay. So that's going to be a sign of the Mountaineer Corps. Technically speaking, we've got the Mountaineer Corps over there. Have the Mountaineers that we sent... Well, they probably haven't arrived. No, they're over here. I suppose we could... Well, we'll wait until they arrive to the uh, eastern or northeastern regions. And then we'll reorganize it. Oh, radio advance. There we go. Broadcasting is something that we can research now. And artillery barrel and ammunition is advanced. Let's go ahead and get the broadcasting definitely underway. We will go ahead and put that to the top of the list. And then there's the artillery stuff. So that is... It's not ahead of time yet. Uh, but you know what? We are actually going to go ahead and push that to the top of the list. Just so we can get our artillery up to date. And also the radios. That is 1936. We can still keep on researching that. But it's... Uh, not as crucial to get underway right now. The Reducing the delays is nice and all that, but there's so many other research that we also need to do. So we're just uh, prioritizing a little bit currently. Ooh, Bank of International Settlements. Now, to be fair, I think we're going to go with the extra uh, leadership, actually. We just need to get so much research done. Uh, the extra industry is nice and all that. Extra money would be kind of nice, but we don't actually need the money that badly, apparently. So we'll just go with the extra leadership. So we can maybe try catching up. So now we've got about 50, almost 59 leadership total. Okay, that does allow us to get a bit more officers. Uh, where do we have the spies going? We've got some in Japan. We're not actually doing anything with them. They're, they're building some more marines. And Canada wants to buy some tungsten. I guess that is more money for us. So we'll take it. We don't need the tungsten too badly right now ourselves. Ah, there's the... Ah, right. Let's get this one in here. And then we'll sign this under the third core. So we already got... Three units for the core, to start at least. And then that core will probably be on here. The Mountaineer core will probably say, oh, okay, now we've got the updated planes. Also, another thing that we'll probably need to do is uh, go with the economy boost. We'll go with the long-term investment still to get some more money and we can then build some more of the giant infrastructure projects and all that. But to be fair, we do not have available... Oh, actually we do. Well, never mind then. Uh, highways would be kind of useful. At the same time, technically speaking, um, our mechanization wouldn't be too bad. It would give us a lot of supplies and, well, at the cost of a bit of money, I suppose, but we'll get a lot of supplies and manpower. I think we'll do with the highways first. Do that one. We can't do the next, uh, yeah, no, we can't do another level yet. But there is a lot of research that we need to do, so let me just go through these real quick. Get those two... Get the first item, combat medicine. So now it's 1938. So that's the year that we can start. Or we can't put in research. The computing machine is definitely going to be on the top of the list. That's going to increase the research speed. Then, of course, all the infantry weapons and such will start researching. Not necessarily going to push the other to the top of the list because, again, we're not going to be fighting probably during this year at all. So we're not in desperate need for more. I fear his warfare equipment could be quite handy. Monroe effects is something that we'll do. I could start researching the pre-war armor construction. I suppose it does give a bit of defensiveness and toughness. But we are going to go through the cast armor construction directly. Rather than going through the pre-war armor construction first. To get all the tank types uh, unlocked. We could get the ammunition capacity a tiny bit. It does give us a bit more attack values there for the planes. Aerial mines is going to be quite handy. Um, I don't, well, I suppose we could get the basic four engine airframe. At least it's going to give the naval and fly, or naval bombers and flying boats a bit of a boost there. Mostly for air defense and surface defense. Control of propeller pitch is going to be quite handy. The supercharger would increase the speed quite a bit, increase the fuel consumption a lot. I suppose we're not going to have that huge problem with the fuel, and it doesn't reduce the range. So we can afford doing that one then. The range is going to be the crucial thing, because we are going for the heavy aircraft rather than the light. Uh, we still can't do the... I suppose we could at least get that one. So we're getting the true transports. We are researching the cruisers. Capital ships, not so much. And the seaplane tender, I can't do yet because we've got no flying boat prototype. Nor do we have the light cruiser prototype. Eventually, we'll I'll start working on the carriers, but it is not this day. We'll get some more techs in here. Not going to put the tank crew training, although it does make the tanks uh, perform a little bit better. It will have some penalties as well. So these two are something we're going to research. And grand battle plan, we're going to get the artillery flexibility upgrade. 
and superior firepower. I suppose the integrated support wouldn't be too bad. It doesn't give that much per level, but it does uh, have a bit of an impact on the combined arms bonus. And I suppose this combined arms defense would do use the mix support a decent bit. And of course, we've got a bit of research over here. Oh, right. Dire fire unit combined arms and recon unit combined arms. It's going to be quite handy. Uh, we haven't got on the combine arm. Oh, we haven't fought enough battles yet. Oh. Right, so we won't be able to get the mix support to any better organization of morale quite yet. It's something that we'll probably research over time, though. Interservice HQ is going to be quite handy. And we'll do the mountain HQ. I don't know if we'll be able to actually get the mountain HQs. It would be quite handy, though. We get the naval HQ, and I suppose the Air Force HQ would be quite handy as well. I don't think we'll be able to gain the specialist headquarters. It's mostly for the major nations that can get those. Which, of course, we are not. Okay, we're tungsten neutral, but we do get a 1% extra IC efficiency for production and more supply throughput as well. That will be very handy. We can reduce the reinforcements a tiny bit. Oh, a small shipyard. Well, well, well. Also going to get another coal refinery or coal field soon enough. So actually, after that level, we don't need more energy right now, so we can drop that to the bottom of the place. We do still want to build that up, but we don't need it too badly. Ooh, payment receipt. Oh, there we go. We've got 34,000 now. So we're rolling in the cash, that's for sure. Ooh, and there's the end wartime measures, finally. So we'll get maybe a little bit, well, we will get somewhat less uh, energy, but that's um, leads up our problems, really. Ooh, manufacturing industry. In gold mode, ooh. And Spirit Fire Inland as well. So six more days for the coal field there. It's going to be another two infrastructure built later on this month as well. So that's going to give us a bit more construction practical, which is right now only 0.1. So we need to do a lot more to increase it. And I suppose another thing that I could do is upgrade the infrastructure in uh, the border provinces in here to be 50% at least in all of them. Just so that we can regain organization faster in the provinces themselves. And I suppose also upgrading the one behind here would be quite handy. And maybe that one. So in the back line, we can also regain organization slightly faster. Because the infrastructure level essentially is a multiplier for the amount of organization that you get otherwise. So essentially, if you have units on uh, zero infrastructure provinces, then they will lose their organization. They will not gain any. Oh, there we go. Afghanistan wants to buy our metal. I'm sure that we can manage that. It's at least a little bit of money for us, although we're not short on cash right now. We are actually producing some of our own. Not much, mind you, but it's better than nothing. So we do need still 27 IC in consumer goods, which is a decent bit. I don't think I can reduce that too much. Or rather, I probably shouldn't try to reduce that too much. Oh, well, there's a coal field. Right, let's go ahead and drop that down the list. Because again, we don't need energy right now. We do need some of the other uh, things in here. But that's not one of them. We'll probably get these two coal fields as well. Just get one level each and then we can drop those. Actually, what I suppose... Well, we'll just wait until we get to those organically. Stormtrooper tactics at advance. There we go. So is that something we can still continue researching? Unfortunately, no. But it does make our light infantry act slightly better. In the meanwhile, I suppose Spain is... so uh, <laughs> Not... Looking good for the Republic. Well, that's unfortunate. Did the troops... No, the troops have not arrived from the Xinjiang expedition. They're slowly underway, at least, but it's going to take us quite a while still, I reckon. Overall. So, uh, it's 15th of January. We are going to get the infrastructure in 28th and 29th. And it's probably going to get us to at least 0.2 construction practical. Now, how long that is going to last? I don't know. I'm going to reduce the reinforcements a little bit. I'm going to keep like a quarter of a point in there regardless. I'm going to put in a little bit more in upgrades right now. Just to get those done sooner. Ooh, and the short barrel HE tank gun advanced. That's probably now ahead of time, isn't it? It is indeed. The next level is 1940. So that's a little bit ahead of time. So we've still got 147 research. Out of the about 53 that we can do at the same time. And it looks like the strength uh, is maxed at 90% right now. I mean, yeah, I suppose it's not the worst. Yeah, it's reduced by 10% total. Okay. Well, it'll do. Any good research underway. Uh, special Forces Unit Combine Arms. Okay. That's somewhat useful. Battle Commander recognition will be done soon. So we might get some more Battle Commanders 
recruited. It will reduce the officer recruitment quite a bit, which we kind of do still need to do a lot. But getting more of the motorized division, actually, we still haven't gotten the support units really for the general speaking, which let's go ahead and switch the headquarters in here. For one of the mountaineers, and then we'll go ahead and split the HQ. I can probably just get in here for now. And then Alberto's going to move over here. So we've got recon. We've got motorized infantry. I think we're going to wait until we get like trucks or something on unlock. And for that we just need to get the, the truck and prime mover. Well, we'll need that and then we'll need to get the motorized infantry. As soon as that is researched, which is going to be done in February. About a month from now. We'll have that sorted. Oh, and there goes the Spanish Civil War. Uh, it's over now. We did get the combined arms bonus for the special forces. That's 1939 the next level, so we're going to drop that for the time being. And infantry unit come. Oh, right. We haven't gotten the Great War analysis yet to uh, level up. Is that something that we're currently researching? Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, I'm going to push that to the top of the list. Just so that we can get the combined arms bonus, combined arms bonus for the infantry sooner rather than later. There we go. Less and less upgrades are needed now. So slowly but surely we can increase the production a bit further, although it is only going to be a bit. Uh, so right now, since in 1938, Anschluss of Austria is probably going to happen, well it should, historically speaking, happen in March of 38, if I remember correctly. And quite, or well, sometimes the AI doesn't do it quite, or quite around the historical day, but I think it's uh, around March when they can usually do it. And then after that they do the... Um, Sudetenland and the Treaty of Munich pretty soon afterwards as well. Actually, no, I think they might not annex uh, Czechoslovakia completely yet at that point. But yeah, it's going to be looking a bit rough. And after that, then Polar is, of course, going to be guarding all that. Okay, so we, yeah, we can reduce the upgrades. There we go. We can also reduce the supply production a little bit. We don't need that much, especially now that we're not selling water supplies per day. So this one's coming down here. I guess what we can do is we can switch some units from the... Third core into that one. So, oh, there's the infrastructure built there. There we go. So that's one that is indeed point two contraction practical now. It's just quite tiny still. But it's a start. You need to start some, from somewhere. And we've got a lot of work to do. There we go. Is that... That's... Uh, no, it's still point two. But we are going to add up the garrison very shortly. And that's also going to free up a little bit more industry for building up more of the garrisons and everything else. So we'll have the Coast Guards and a few other units. Ooh, battle Commander Recognition. There we go. And there's another garrison. Let's go ahead and drop this one in Hengshu. We're not going to put this good of a general in here. Oh, right. We should probably have a look at if we've got any more... Um, or better... Ministers in here. There's the health and education, but... Uh, that would reduce the amount of leadership, and I'd rather not take that one. We've got the resource focus over here, which... Could be okay, but the land build time reduced and all that, and air build time reduced as well. That's kind of uh, useful for us. When you see on the interior, there is the health and education over there as well. Could potentially put in the compassion gentleman. Is that... No, he's already in there. Okay, so there we go. We should be reducing our... Let's see. Current war exhaustion is uh, 930. And he is supposed to be going down by 5 per month. So I guess that does help. Let's see, Head of Intelligence, anything in here? No, not really. Chief of Staff, that is the same option twice. Over here we could get the Designed Battle Doctrine, but I think just holding on to the Guns and Butter for now is probably going to be... Actually, no, we've got the Designed Battle right now. So we'll go with that one, I suppose. So no, we do not have any better uh, Ministers yet, but we did get quite a bit more Leaders available now. And some of those seem to be quite effective as well. What are we getting the... Oh. Right, that uh, mounted infantry will be done fairly shortly. In fact, well, it's just a matter of days. We've got 105% officer ratio now, so at least things are looking really decent. There's going to be probably a little bit of a lull between the action. Oh, certain volunteers. Oh. That's for six days. We'll get more recruit. Oh, and we need, uh, what, less consumer? Oh, a lot less consumer goods. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put in the officer recruitment to like 10 leadership for those uh, few days. So on 9th of February we'll switch it back to be around 4 leadership or maybe 5 leadership total. But we can uh, get a lot of officers now recruited 
or trained uh, directly. Oh, infiltration tactics. There we go. And there is th another engineer. I don't suppose we've got on... Well, I suppose technically we, we could put it on the unit that we got from Shangxi. Or not Shangxi, Xinjiang. Which, to be fair, where is that? There we are. But at least that's uh, taken care of. Okay, almost 20,000 officers. We're getting um, 76 per day right now, so we will get like extra, I don't know, 200 officers with this. It's not going to be a huge amount, but it's better than like, oh, survivors have returned. Oh, and that means that we've got the small arms ahead of time and the infantry support weapons ahead of time. That's one of the reasons why I like sending the um, militia or the uh, volunteers when we can. Of course, there's going to be a bit of limited options for those, especially since the Chinese uh, war against Japan is not going to happen. Although if it was happening, then yeah, we'd probably still be fighting a war. We do have... Oh, wow, yeah, we're getting 77 manpower per month now, so that's pretty decent. Now, of course, there is a search for volunteers giving us 5.5% extra. But that is uh, not nothing. But we do get another survivor militia. I suppose this could be turned into another division. Pursue you. Oh, you know what? Yeah, he can take care of this. Or take control of it. I'm going to assign it to... Uh... Well, it's just under the main HQ for now. So at least it will be within the auto battle, even if it's not necessarily going to be all that effective. We'll go ahead and upgrade this one to... You know what? We're going to upgrade this to naval infantry. We'll get our first naval uh, division. We'll upgrade that to recon. And let's go ahead and build a division to go alongside with it. So we're getting the naval infantry in there. We've got the recon. We'll need to light vehicles. We've got a division HQ free, so we don't need to build that one. And we'll put definitely engineers in there. We'll put in artillery. And I suppose we could probably put in the big support. That might not be the worst idea. So that would be enough to form it into a somewhat formidable division. Not necessarily as great as one might hope, but it's um, it's a start. So that one's going to take a while probably before we get up to it. But that's uh, not a huge rush on getting that division built, to be fair. Oh, there we go. Arc Royal is launched. Not that it's necessarily going to be do much for us. I mean, it might be able to help. Um, oh, there goes Austria. I haven't fed very well. A little, little bit early on that one. Well, that's one. And I expect in about a week there's going to be some uh, happenings going on in Czechoslovakia. And now we're on 9th of February. So let's go ahead and switch the officer recruitment back down to 5 leadership or somewhere around there. So we're still getting 28 officers per um, day. So now we're getting still the 53 research. It's not the worst. But at least the officer ratio is also a little bit better. Ah, right. So the Mountaineer is actually... We've already got one Mountaineer in there. I'm going to switch to this one to the Mountaineer Corps. And redeploy it there. And then we can also go ahead and uh, switch to this one to the Mountaineer Corps. No, that's the Motorized Corps. Uh, Mountaineer Corps. There we are. So there's now four Mountaineers already. I believe we've got one more. Oh, is this? Ah, oh, this is the one. Right, let's actually go ahead and just move it over here. And then we can combine this into the Mountaineer Division. And then we'll have the fifth one ready. And they can probably be mostly carting in here. And then once we start making a breakthrough into the enemy territories, we can use... Like, oh, we got the Coalfield in Nunjing. I'm going to drop that down the list. And the Coalfield in... I don't actually... Is that... Doesn't tell you the name, of course, but I think that is the province in here, Chengji. So we can drop that one down the list. Army group headquarters advanced. There we go. Actually, that reminds me. We did get the. No, that actually can stay there. But we got sure uh, the. Oh right, so that was something that was automatically taken off the list. Never mind then. Oh, there's two of you, Munich. So do they provide aggression to me? Their threat towards us is quite small still. Our neutrality is still going down because we're still focusing on reducing our neutrality. But it is... Um, well, it's going to take a while before we can declare war, I reckon. So, echelon advance. Oh, so what do we unlock with that? Uh, not much. Actually, basically nothing right now. So, in fact, I'm actually going to go ahead and cancel that one. We don't need the third echelon text right now. Later on, I'm sure that we will want those. But right now... Most of these are going to be ahead of time anyway. So trying to catch up with the tech there is not really needed right now. Also going to be getting industry and... Oh, the Chakra Prime mover is going to be done very shortly. Well, about 10 days or so. That is going to be very handy. 
So this core, I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and assign some more units to it. That's the first. And I guess that this core could be taking care of... The oh, science focus just started. All right, let me switch back to that. So we kind of need that one. I'll be honest. And there is... Oh, another engineer. Right, so we still got more units in Nandring, I believe, that do not have engineers. Yeah, we've got plenty in there. There we go. And I suppose this could be assigned to be upgraded into infantry. I suppose a lot of these units that already got the engineer should be getting the upgrades. We'll probably just go with regular infantry in here as well. We'll just get these sorted out real quick. Okay, that one's still requiring a few more units. Did we? Right, we must have used the units for something else in the meanwhile. Okay, so that one's not going to be a full division yet. Uh, it's all right in the end, I suppose. But we are definitely out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, got the links down in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.